I think it's the 10th of May. Yeah, yesterday was the 9th, today's the 10th. How are you guys doing? It's so funny because um, when stuff's happening and a lot of stuff is happening, you guys are writing me, Randa! Randa, what are you gonna read again? As soon as I get off my lazy ass. So anyway, um, there's a bunch of stuff I, we need to talk about today. First of all, I want to say thank you guys because your energy and everything is fantastic. And second of all, my cousin in Oklahoma, or Texas, Sue, she had, you know, I had told you guys I just was having a hard time rallying for being, having those two back-to-back -back colds. And um, I had help with Lily. And then I wanted to let you guys know, my cousin introduced me to this. You, it's about $110. You also get a probiotic. Anyway, it's called Mary Ruth. And it's a liquid nighttime multivitamin and a multivitamin in the morning. And, you know, I did it because I was desperate, but I didn't really think it would help. Oh, my God. My, God, my mind's clear. And um, I, I'm sleeping. I mean, I take this stuff. I'm not even taking a nighttime thing anymore. Um, I'm sleeping good. And it's not bad tasting. This one's Coconut Dream. I love coconut. So, of course, it makes me crave coconut cake. <laughs> Everything makes me crave. You guys don't know. So, anyway. Okay. So, I just wanted to tell you about that. All right? That this Mary Ruth Liquid Night time multi-mineral and uh, it comes in a three pack you can get the three pack um i've been forgetting to take it so i have a little bit more than 30 days but it's supposed to last about 30 days so okay just fyi if anybody's really having a hard time getting their fog mind straight boom bada bing bada boom okay so there's some stuff for us to talk about first of all I think Nadler announced that uh, Mueller isn't going to be um, testifying on the 15th, and I've already redone my schedule. So what I'm going to do is call everybody I redid. I'll keep the same date. It's later in the day, but they want to still do later. But thank whoever. I like to thank you people that did this for me. And I'll just wait till we get down to the nitty-gritty. The good news is I didn't change them to a different day. I'm still doing the day just later in the day. We can either keep the later date if they want to do earlier. That's cool. And then, um, but I, I, I read the cards while I was being relaxed and talking to friends. And um, they were saying... Um, I was throwing the cards on Mueller doing the 15th and it was showing disappointment. I said, damn, are they gonna say he doesn't do the 15th, which they did, but the outcome was always good. So, and the other thing is my visual. When I get those visions, you it, it's pretty, you can take it to the bank. And I literally saw him, and you guys know this. I've been reading since April of last year. I literally sat there and saw him testifying and it was like people shock and awe you know and the thing is is that Trump he's so unbelievably ignorant <laughs> oh my god oh yeah well you know um I turned him down and we were doing some business well he's good friends with Comey because I can show you tons of pictures yeah they work together but, you know, define good friends, or is it love? I mean, is it like Kim Jong-un? Is that the same kind of in, in relationship you're talking about? Anyway, this is just... Anyway, Mueller's like Leo. So, you know what? He's going to testify. He's going to clear his name. Oh, it's nothing to see here. I can't believe they're calling in John uh, um, Trump Jr., I can't believe they're doing that. He testified for 20 hours. Hello, Hillary Clinton. And that never was enough. Oh, listen, it's done. It's done. Hello, Hillary Clinton. So when they say done, well, well then, that, but don't worry. It's not done. But I just made me think of something. I'm going to do Don Jr. I'm going to do Barr. Okay. Okay, so right now we're going to do more. Because I know he's going to testify. Let's just double check. But I'd thrown earlier. It was pretty dead on. 
So how are you feeling Matt, now, Robert Mueller? He's clinging stuff up. He's not even really talking to Barr. He's clinging stuff up. He's getting stuff done. And you know, I do think that Barr pressured him to get this thing done, because I felt like he wasn't totally finished. But it's almost like he was under so much pressure. And, and, and I feel the pressure before all this was formally announced. So that's when he started shipping off things, because he knows we have a corrupt president. Okay, so tell me what the scoop is. Tell me about Barr. I mean about Mueller. Then I, guys, I have to tell you guys something else that happened to me. What do you got to say to us? Yeah, he's not happy. He's not a happy camper. He's closing stuff up. He's bringing it together. And Trump is a thorn in his side. He's at the crossroads. He's trying to make... Listen, he is going to come in as a private citizen. He doesn't care. I see his wife really giving him encouragement. I like his relationship with his wife, you guys. I always see her. I always feel very positive about it. But uh, the outcome is this. Hello! We, uh, he's got a load of information. And also, this man, go ahead and drop this place because you're going to make a load of money. I see people seeking you out. It's not even about the money. It's just, um, oh my God, you guys. Hello. He, he walks out the emperor with the Ten of Cups. People are celebrating him and the temperance. So we had to wait for this, okay? But it will see us through. It's like your patience, ladies and gentlemen, you will get paid for your patience. So he will testify, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So let me tell you guys what happened. I'm on my own beeswax. I'm totally chillax, eating a chili cheese dog in bed. And suddenly it occurred to me, I saw there's a, where my house sits, you can see a schoolyard, wide open, very pretty, it's a private school. I saw the kids running in the yard. And all of a sudden I got overwhelmed with grief. It just hit me like a ton of bricks. So I went with it because whenever I start getting that kind of energy, it usually means something's getting ready to happen. So I allowed it, I opened up that door and I saw American blood spilling on foreign soil. Somebody told me I had said this before. It's not a, I don't know if it's a terrorist, a terrorist action, but it seems to affect our military. And now I'm getting text message from people saying they're sending my son to Iraq. So something's getting ready to happen. It could be with Iran. And I feel Trump will use this. He's setting this up. It could be, I, he's setting this up, you guys. But it's going to work against him. But the thing is, people died. You know, young people died. Young men and women died. I can see it and I see furious. It could be something as simple as a helicopter coming down because it got hit. But I'm telling you, something's getting ready to happen. I could see it. Okay, so let me look. So you guys told me, you gave me a vision. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything you're saying. What is it you want to tell me? So there's something coming on. I don't know if we actually exclaim war. Now for a while, and I'll just tell you guys this. And also because some of my clients have some information, you know, because they their father works for the CIA or whatever. They can't tell me all the information, but they just say, this is what's been told to me. Number one, he's a clear and present danger. And number two, they'll actually be able to prevent him from doing something crazy. Like he can't do a nuclear explosion. He thinks he can, but he can't. So, um, and they're also keeping a lot of intel away from him. It's like, just don't even bother him with it. We'll work amongst ourselves. That's what I've been feeling for a while. So, um, let's see what it says. Uh, 
some sort of battle. Something's gonna happen, you guys, and it's bad news, but don't worry, it's gonna work out. So don't worry. But it's swift news, it might be August. And it's more like he does it because he's desperate. He's desperate. Trump is desperate to get people to look away. Just remember this, like I told you about that airplane crashing. I saw this as clear as day, but I felt the sadness. I felt the, um, I felt people getting angry. You know, a lot's gonna have to happen for people to turn against him, especially his people. But I feel like, like even that China thing that's going on right now, it's gonna cost your, your like Walmart's gonna get hit hard. It's gonna start costing people enough money that they're tired of it. They're done with it. The only people that are gonna remain okay are the wealthy. And then it's an uproar, okay? So Mueller, I can guarantee you, is gonna testify. Some sort of action is gonna take place with loss of lives on foreign soil. It doesn't happen in the United States, but I saw that. Time frames are bad for me, as you well know. Now, I wanted to look at poor Don Jr. who testified for 20 hours and how dare Burr ask for him to come in. Let's look at Burr real quick because we want to make sure nothing underhanded here. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about Burr. Because he's a Republican and they're very mad. What are you doing? What are you doing? I haven't never looked at Burr, I don't think. Burr, you're asking for Don Jr. to come back. And I feel that other guy he works with, the Democrat, like they're pretty good friends. And and I think the guy the Democrat brought up to Burr, you know, this is interesting. Take a look at this. Take a look at what he said here. And now he's saying this here. And I actually feel like Burr feels like he's obligated to call him in. Now, McConnell will try to tell everybody, don't worry, it's going to work out. So is Burr setting this up to, to make uh, Don? But Don Jr.'s fighting it too hard. So Don Jr. don't know this. Don Jr. is like um, are, are already saying he won't appear. Wouldn't it be great to see him locked up in jail? Burr, why are you calling in Donald Jr.? Why are you calling in Donald Jr.? He lied. He lied. And uh, they're looking at him as a bad seed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, oh, Trump's going to be furious. They're going to catch him in some stuff. And it doesn't end here. It goes in different directions. Um, he lied. You know, this is weird, okay? I'm seeing money, almost like fines. I wonder if he doesn't show and they start hitting up with that $25,000 a day if he doesn't show. But Trump is furious. A lot of this is accumulative, and I feel like when Trump really starts going under, like when the financial stuff comes out, it's coming out. But when things start happening, he can't, he gets to a point that he can't spend it anymore. And whatever these deaths were or whatever, it doesn't make him hero, it makes him enemy. So people are looking at him like, get the F out of our house. Because the thing is, when these people loved him and adored him, and then he screws with them, oh, hell no, uh-uh, uh-uh. And let me tell you, Trump has paid for abortions. I know that. I've seen it, and I know people that know him and know about it. So let me tell you something. And then these abortion people all, you know, we're going to... In the meantime, a man can rape a woman in, in uh, Georgia and get 10 years, but if the woman has an abortion with that baby, she gets 90. Makes a lot of sense, right? We're going backwards, you guys. But don't get too upset because it's all going to work out. It's going to take a couple of years. Might even take the new presidents the whole four years. So what happens? Okay, Burr, it, Burr is trying to do the right thing. And I actually see people toasting him, but other people are mad. Trump is mad at him. But let's see what happens to Don Jr. What's going to happen to Don Jr.? What's the scoop? I wish I could do like Kirsten does. Kirsten knows how to cut and start so you guys don't have to listen to all the shuffling. She's real good at that. 
Not me. You just have to listen to the show. Sorry about that, you guys. Tell me about Don Jr. He is in love with that new woman in his life. He's so funny. He thinks that he's going to be okay, okay? He, there's some sort of win here for him. Sorry, you guys. But he's looking at himself like he's going to be okay. Somebody's telling him, dude, it's okay. Hello. It's going to be a battle, and it's going to get worse. Um... Yeah, you better hold on to your money because this whole family is going to lose money big time. He's one of them too. So it, he's going to think, and it's like the world is looking at this and they're like, finally, some justice here. But I wouldn't doubt if he fights him or doesn't or tries not to show. Something is going on. I don't know if Bird told O'Connell, no worries, dude. We're just going to go. It's just, it's going to probably work out better for him. But I feel like stuff is said that more investigations will take place. Okay, so. Now, I want to tell you guys. I've told you guys this before. But I feel beyond a reasonable doubt that Barr is in deep poo-poo. Something with Barr. His cards are so bad every time I throw at him. Either he's going to, well, see, dying wouldn't be that bad. Dying would actually be easier because I kept thinking, Jesus, what's he going to do, die? But he's got, maybe he'll even go to prison cards. His is really significant. So let's look at Barr because they're just saying no. They're ignoring Congress. I just want to look again, and I want to show you guys what's happening every time I throw. What's going to happen to Barr? He, think, he knows he's not okay. I'm telling you. He knows he's not okay. Struggle. Battling. Thinking he's smarter than others. He's all bandaged up. He thinks evil. He's energetically, he's a lower form. So, a lot. Listen, five of wands, five of swords. Um, like I said, he think he he tries to go squirrel. Um, ooh, interesting. I think somebody else said this before. Um, Trump. This is my card for Trump. Trump is the outcome. So Trump. I feel Trump tries to Trump tries to protect him. I kept seeing Barr having to step down, but it might be that Trump goes against him. Like Trump, somebody might have said this because I think I've heard this before. I'm almost feeling like he should have never gotten in bed with Trump because he, it won't pan out for him. It's bad for I'm telling you right now, Barr is not doing very well. So he should enjoy. All these guys that need to enjoy whatever's going on. So Rudy Giuliani is going... Um, I just lost where it is. Rudy Giuliani is on his way to a foreign country to get information on Joe Biden's son. Okay? They announced it, and it's so what? So what? Yeah, we're going to a foreign country. Now all the Dems need to go to Russia. Rudy Giuliani is going to, it starts with a U, I believe, to get information. Rudy Giuliani is going. They're looking at Rudy Giuliani like he's crazy. Like, what an idiot. I'm not quite sure if it's just... It looks like they're ready to try. They might make up stuff because they want this guy off their back. Ooh, sorry, you guys. They're trying to get information on Joe Biden. Will they succeed? It's, 
There's a woman involved with this too. It's saying, yes, they'll succeed. Like they're gonna come home with something. But you know, I always felt like Trump wasn't gonna be able to run for office because he was too much pressure, too much things hitting him at once. But it's like they're looking for information, but here's the deal. I think it's made up information. Like they wanna, they wanna get this stuff, make this stuff up. So we have to ask. Will Trump run for the 20? I know I ask all the time. He really thinks he's going to run. See, it is clear as day. But what's getting ready to happen, I think, is there's a lot, some judge, something's getting ready to happen where his finances, it's like when it, it starts and it just floods. It's just one thing after the other. What's going to happen with that? And you know, I never saw him impeached, but I do feel like they may start impeachment hearings, but it gets just so overwhelming. He says, F you guys, I'm out of here. Yeah, they're gonna start taking his money, you guys. Justice will be served on Trump. How do you like it, baby? It's saying that, just be patient. Be patient, another patient card. Justice will be, ooh, they're gonna, remember I told you. Member, that's how my grandson talked. Nana, member, member I told you, and my boys used to say instead of IHOP, the ho mama, can we go to the house of pancakes? So, sorry, I just love my kids. Okay, so, um, oh my God, thank you. Thank you. Just, ooh, there's all these people around him. There's all these people around him. Woo! Listen, he's a pure and present danger. I mean, there's some hidden factors here that we don't even know about. People got their eye on him. So, um, will he run for president? I would say no. I would say no. There's another man standing right next to him. A powerful man. That could be Mueller. Because it's like he tried to spin it. He tried to make things happen. But it's like he's being judged. Like there's just too much trouble. I Remember I keep seeing him on a stage and they're throwing tomatoes at him. Like get off that stage. You're a putz. Get out of here. Okay. Now I want to ask real quick about China. Tell me about China and this bull that Trump is throwing. Will we come to an agreement with China? And you know, China doesn't like Trump. Iran really hates Trump. He's picking on Iran. He's picking on them. But you know, they'll defend themselves. Give them a reason to knock that SOB down. Okay, so. China, what's going on with you guys? Uh, they, they said they'll retaliate, and I believe them. Because it's like, you know what? They'll squeeze the consumer, and then the consumers will turn against them. And he lies up there. You know, we're making money. No, we're not. Um, here's the negotiations. It's not working out right now. No. No, no, we won't be able to negotiate till Trump is out of uh, office. That's the bottom line. It's like, nope. And China is like done with him. They don't like him. And China's going to suffer too, actually, a little bit. But by retaliate, they may turn around and call in some loans. Fasten your seatbelt, you guys. Fasten your seatbelt. Because even the rich are going to get hit. And you know, they don't like that. That's when they go against Trump, the rich, when they start getting hit. Okay, so um, what do you want me to tell everybody before I close out? So do me a favor, say prayers about this explosion, either on a ship or a helicopter or a plane. I see military. You know, 
when I look at the White House, I see sparingly. So he must not have a lot of people working there. It doesn't feel like a whole bunch of people. It feels like everybody has to be a little cray to be there. Everybody's sort of afraid and everybody's watching everybody. It's not a comfortable place to work. What can you tell me? Is there anything you want to tell us to look at? And uh, I'll come back again um, this weekend because I want to look at uh, those babies that are gone. I feel we're going to get a lot of them back, okay? There's something to do with human trafficking that involves Trump. That's coming up. It's interesting that the money thing, that'll bring them down. Not the trafficking, not the lying. Okay. Well, we're already disappointed because Mueller isn't going to testify. So it's showing there's disappointment. Like we're tired of waiting. Our fortunes will change. Okay. All right. Thank you. The whole world's looking at us. So here's Nancy Pelosi. And the Nine of Cups is standing next to her. I think Nancy Pelosi will have no choice. As you know, the numbers are going up to go ahead and impeach him. I think Nancy, uh, they're in deep conversation. I feel they may start the process so they can get the, the, the paperwork that they need. But they might wait until Mueller testifies. I think that's the key thing. Because I see, I see them starting the process. But there's so much crap coming up. Okay. Sorry. I know I said this is my last question, but i got to ask something real quick. Will McCabe kindly come in? Because they're going to do a... a Bar is going down. I'm going to tell you. I can't even emphasize enough to you. I don't even see him taking a breath. What about McCabe? Are they going to start charging him $25,000 a day? Will McCabe finally come forward and testify? Because McCabe will tell the truth. Okay. He's going to come in kicking and screaming. Yep, he's coming. He's coming. They're gonna make it where it's near impossible. They're gonna make him a deal he can't refuse. But as he comes forward and as Mueller comes forward, it just gets ugly, uglier and uglier. But people are really worried about Trump. People in Intel are really worried about Trump. And they're worried about Barr too, because I think Barr is just really showing his ass. So we shall see. Okay, you guys. So I like when you send me stuff. If I forgot, it's because um, normally I look at my stuff, but at the last minute I said, people were right and saying, we need a video. But uh, everything's going to work out. I know that you guys are just sick with this, but everything's going to work out. However, the prices are going to go up. We're going to feel the effects of all this. Just button your seatbelt tight and get ready because it's like we're going to go through some financial stuff and it's all Trump's fault. Finances is a big reason why he goes down. Okay, ciao.